Okay, so it's about 12 o'clock in the morning. You can hear the tsunami building outside. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's actually not a tsunami. That's actually the hair dryers. Okay, let me tell them what happened. So, I don't have a room. And Leslie doesn't have a room. And Linda doesn't have a room. So what we're doing is we're bunking in with the boys. We've got three put up beds set up over there. Um, but there's also no heating. So, to compensate, we've turned on all the hair dryers <laughs> and we've left all the hot water on to try and steam out the place. But it's still absolutely bloody freezing. Um, but we're here and it's Limud. And that's Limud! So, uh, we'll see you in a oh few hours. Stealing all the heat. Oh, Mark, what can I do? Wait, wait, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Beautiful, that is. Hold on, cameraman needs some. Why? Thank you. We're going to each other's feet. There'll be someone whose job is to walk up and down. Feet so dry, Okay, so no one's around. Now, I know this is stupid, but I've wanted to do this for a while. Okay, find a nice clean bit of snow and go. <laughs> I just thought I'd share that with everyone at home because that was a lot of fun. Um, bye. Please rise up to your feet right now, Limu. Vesid, and I'm on the board of Lemoot here in, uh, in New York. 
and uh, this is my sixth Lamoud. First one was in the UK in Nottingham, and then the five that we've had here in New York. Pr proud of, uh, of of creating a um, a sustainable community model for 850 people this year, um, where there's this true sense of uh, again people pulling together, volunteerism, um, and uh, and creativity, both kind of ranging from young kids to uh, uh, you know people a little older than me getting involved and making this happen. You know, there, there there's so many um, different. Um, kind of Jewish uh, practices, um, people kind of coming from so many different backgrounds, uh, that you, you kind of have this coagulation of the Jewish population. And, and Lamud, I find that again, to be able to come, all come together and learn from one another and sit in sessions and learn from people who otherwise wouldn't really have any access to, uh, has really, uh, again, broadened out my Jewish experience, my family's Jewish experience, and I think the people who, again, who come year after year. My name is Ruthie Orshenrat, and I'm the director of Limoon New York. Oh, I didn't get that. Limoon New York is important because it brings together a full range of the Jewish community in one place for a weekend to learn with people who are like each other and people who are different from each other and people who would not normally sit at the same table, metaphorically and actually. Um, and also, it is a community for so many people who are fully empowered to make decisions to create this conference, to create this experience, and anything they want to see happen, they can make happen.